Happy weekend, guys. Today, I just want to show off a little prototype I've been working on the past couple of weekends. Maybe 12 to 18 hours total. But I've been trying to wash off the government worker funk that I've been in for the last couple of months. And this seemed like a good way to do it. It's following the same ideas as I used back in Tactical Strike Micro in taking the ideas of a dungeon crawl but condensing them and simplifying them and speeding them up into something more of a casual feel. And what I've come up with is something along the lines of an Aliens or a Space Hulk where our soldiers are being assaulted by the Spiderlings a number of small creatures that attack in large numbers but I don't know where I was going with that but so what I'm gonna do is recruit up a basic set of troops six units I'm gonna take two greens which are the lowest they actually reduce your combat ability but they can level up into better troops in the long run and they cost a lot less than anybody else so let's get started with my six troops picked out now one thing you'll see is that this doesn't follow a normal dungeon crawl where you play as the party instead think of my or yourself as more of a command unit you can see oh we've already gotten to battle come on guys let's go aggressive damn it we've already lost somebody well that was not a good way to open up but you'll notice that you're some sort of a command center. So down here you see the map of the area, and this allows you to find a lot of things, but over here you see a representation, like a virtual representation of what the soldiers are seeing. Yellow boxes represent cover, so if you move into one of these tiles, you're actually going to gain a bonus in combat. Now let's move around here and just like the soldiers can see certain things, there are some things you can see, eh, like this blip, that you can only see on the map. So I know there's probably some sort of life form around the corner. So we're gonna step out. Oh my god, it came right out at me. A lot of soldiers, or a lot of aliens. We're gonna run back into cover, take an aggressive stance, and now we're running out of ammo, aren't we? Ah, uh, conserve ammo. Shoot, we're gonna die. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh,. We're actually going to run. I need ammunition, and these things are going to keep following me, which is not good. Shoot. Shoot. Um. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to this game that doesn't actually have a name. Um... What we're going to do is try again, not to get so mercilessly slaughtered, but as you probably noticed there, the combat takes place in fully real time. So your soldiers will deal with shooting at the enemies, uh, actually identifying where they are and all of that, but you're allowed to move your troops around at, free, or at, at will. And what you probably would have seen is when a lot of enemies attacked and I ran for a cover spot to gain the bonus but because I was running around I was gaining big movement or I mean big accuracy penalties to my shooting and I was attracting more enemies to my locations you have to in fact I just set off more we're gonna go aggressive I think we'll be okay from here yeah yeah we should be good from this point on so a lot of this has to do with actual, the way you move your troops around the building will will impact things in little ways. Now, uh, two more blips, hopefully. Friendlies? Yeah, we've rescued a civilian, which isn't necessarily a good thing. If you rescue a civilian, they're added to your team, but they reduce your combat skill. My goal is to get them to an exit so that they, ah, in fact, an exit right ahead. So if I step close enough, all five of the civilians I had were transported out of here and I gained a bunch of experience points which can help level up my troops, make them a little stronger. Now, let's move on through here. 
a lot of the strategy in this game comes down with knowing how to manage your ammo and knowing how much you can afford to move around. So I mean if I'm being attacked by one or two little guys I'm generally not too concerned about continuing to, to advance or to fight out in the open. But when a large number of guys appear things start going crazy with the screen, it gets hard to find cover and in fact what are you up here one two three blips so what I'm gonna do run straight for this cover go straight into aggressive combat we have a decent amount of ammo so I'm not too concerned uh, well more came wandering by and you obviously saw there that in addition to the blips there are like wandering enemies that sometimes appear uh, the less you move around in combat, the less likely that is to happen. So, I mean, you can control those two. And, really, that's about it for what there is here. Uh, I don't think you've seen any of my soldiers level up yet, because it's been a pretty quiet event this time through. But, it's uh, definitely shaped into an interesting combination of mechanics. I really I didn't know what I was doing when I started and it's quite a bit of fun to play so I'm probably going to keep doing this on the weekends for a little while see if I can polish it into something that I should put out there with a full blown set of mechanics I'd like to add up a little bit more metagaming stuff um things like uh not necessarily multiple levels, but the ability to research items. I definitely want more room tiles. Right now I just have rooms with enemies and monsters. What I want to have is a couple, or at least a handful of themed rooms. So if you find a warehouse, there'll be a lot of boxes. If you find a medical place, there may be some, you know, healing items. If you find, let's say, an alien nest, there'll be a lot of eggs to deal with. Some, something like that. Just some unique rooms that build on these basic mechanics. But as of right now, it definitely formed into a pretty interesting project, and I'm proud to show it off. So let me know what you think down below, and I will see you guys next time.